Hello guys, this is Marco Stoya and here I am again to talk about the five most common mistakes I found every barista makes, or most of the barista make, when they start their coffee journey. The first one, and most of the baristas forget about this, you have to leave always your porta filter in place, in your group. It's important to keep the temperature as high as possible in order to avoid temperature crush. When you grind your coffee in your porta filter, you really want your porta filter to be hot, as close as the temperature of the machine. The second one is never forget to use scales. You really want to measure, you really want to weigh every single thing you do behind the coffee machine. It's important to weigh the amount of coffee you put in your porta filter when you grind it. And it's equally important to weigh, to measure the amount of brewed coffee that finishes in your cup. If you don't have this data, you hardly are going to be able to, re to replicate everything that happens in that coffee machine. And when you get a delicious coffee, you really want that to repeat and repeat and repeat. The third one is tamping. Most of my students make mistakes when they're tamp. Bear in mind that when you tamp, you are doing two things at the same time. First of all, you compress all the coffee. You really want to create a barrier for the water, okay? And the second one, you have to level your tamp. You really want your coffee pot to be the same depth at every single point for the water to find the same path at any point in your coffee pot in order to create a balanced beverage. The fourth one, never forget to pour your steam one. You really want to pour your steam one. First, before steaming your milk, you really want to get rid of all that liquid water that is in your steam one, okay? You are gonna use water steam, not liquid water. So you really want to get rid of that before steaming your milk. And then in the moment when you finish steaming your milk, you really want to pour your steam one because when you close your steam one, some milk gets trapped in your steaming one, okay? And if you don't push it, and you don't push it like really, really, really hard, all that milk can stay there, rotten, and at the end of the day, break your steaming one and your coffee machine. And then the number five, the last one. Most of my students forget that coffee espresso in this case is basically two elements, two ingredients. You have coffee, obviously, and then you have water. And guys, you have to have, you really want to use the right water. You really want to use the right PPM of total hardness and you really want to use the right PPM of alkalinity. You may have the right water in your supermarket, but if not, you always can create your own water and it's super, super fun. Bear in mind that the right PPM has to be circa 125 PPM of total hardness and in between 40 and 75 of alkalinity. And then just play around and find the water that suits you better. And have fun. So guys, this is it. I hope you have fun. I hope you learn a little bit. And I'll see you around. Thank you very much. Please don't talk about me when I'm gone. Oh honey.